Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrian here and you are watching I'm Bright Beauty 14. So the video I'm going to do today for you is a how to start a YouTube channel. I hope you guys will enjoy and you definitely don't need to worry that this video is only for beauty channels. It definitely works for a lot of different types of um, channels that you might want to make so don't worry about that. Uh, I hope you guys will like it and let's get right into this because I'm sure this is going to be a pretty long video. This is actually the second time I filmed it because the first time I just talked way too much and it was too long, so. so the first thing I'm going to start go. off with is your topic. So you want to pick something you want to do your videos about, something that you really enjoy, and something that you will know that you can stick to. Once you do that, try not to kind of, um, try not to stray from that unless you kind of want to make a new channel about that stuff because you might lose just subscribers from changing your whole channel and stuff sure that you are dedicated and that you are ready to commit to a lot of work, a lot of time, and just a lot of, yeah, both of those, double time, <laughs> because it's very difficult um, to film. This ta could take maybe, it could take me to film half an hour to, oh my god, there's a bee at my window. Ooh. That scared me. That thing was like this big. Anyways, yeah, it could take me to film from half an hour to like five hours. Five hours, I could say, would be a long one. Um, but yeah, it just takes a lot of time you need to put in. And with school, too, it's definitely really difficult for me. That's why I haven't been able to like post too much because a lot of work goes into it as well as editing takes way longer than filming for me like I could take maybe an hour to film and then to edit would take me up to like six hours maybe even longer probably maybe days even because I want to break it up um so just be ready to commit oh there's a fluffering for my face <laughs> I just get distracted by those so easily there. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is is kind of how to be natural on camera. So kind of just be yourself because no one else is watching you currently. They are watching right like on the other side, but right now when I'm filming it, there's no one else here. So you just need to know that you're doing something that you like and no one is watching you right now. And really just don't care as long as you're do having fun, then that's all that matters. Try not to be super boring and sad, so don't film when you're feeling upset. Um, I mean, you can, like, of course, people want to see the real side of you, but if you're going to make other people really sad and bored, it's not going to be, like, the greatest thing. So just try and film when you're in your best mood and when you want to film. Connecting with your viewers is super important, so get a social media that's public that you can um, connect with them and talk to them and update them, as well as, like, giveaways and maybe Skyping them or... Um, commenting back, so things like that. Make sure in your videos that you are getting across some information because I know some videos are just hilarious and you just want to watch them because they're funny, um, but if you want to do a video or a channel um, that you want info on, make sure you like give some tips because people love that. I love finding new information. That's pretty much the reason I watch a lot of videos is to know more stuff, so that's a big thing that you need to kind of think about. Like I said before, just don't try and try not be super boring and film when you don't want to because then you'll feel really just, oh, like, I don't want to do this, whatever. I'm just going to say a few things and we're done, you know, just to get a video up. Try your hardest when you're doing this because you want to put as much effort as you can into everything you do. So this is one of those things else is the money part of it and I'm sure all of you know that youtubers um, including myself can make money from YouTube and this is by sponsorships partnering ads and all that crazy stuff um, I mean so for me I'm partnered with style hall a you probably know about it it's a like a beauty community with a lot of different youtubers in it like there's so many youtubers that are partnered with them that are even famous like really you can check it out um so you can just send in an application to be partnered with them and 
partnering will definitely get you money because they can monetize your videos and um, it kind of adds to their whole network, your videos. So look into partnering. Um, and then there's sponsorships, which is products reaching out to you or you reaching out to products to kind of promote them and get some money from that. Um, for me, I found this website called famebit.com and you can check it out yourself. It's a, um, it's a sponsorship website and they have a lot of um, with companies and pr products on the website kind of wanting you to promote them and talk about them on your videos and so you can get paid by that. The least amount I've seen on there that you can get paid is a hundred dollars so you do one of them you're at least getting a hundred dollars. The most I've seen on there is five thousand dollars like that's a lot of money from just mentioning a product and trying it out so it's pretty great and I recommend you do that um, but make sure you're honest and that you don't lie if you like hate the product you don't want to get your viewers to use it because um it'll be like a waste, they spent their money on something that's terrible. So make sure that um, you like the product because you don't want to lie to them because that would really suck and when they find out that you lied just to get money, that's also going to be very bad. So make sure you are honest about what you are recommending to your viewers. Um, when you're monetizing your videos, that will get you money by putting on ads. There are pretty much ads on everyone's YouTube videos now. That's how you get money. If someone clicks on the ad, then um, you get money. If someone watches the ad, then you get money and stuff like that. So the next thing I want to talk about is thumbnails. And this is such an important um, aspect of starting your channel. You want to make sure that you have a really good thumbnail because I even notice myself when I'm looking for videos, I'm just going through that little list of videos and if I see one with a nice thumbnail compared to one with a horrible, like, horrible, not even horrible, just like a still from your video that's like you like, I'm not going to click that one and I know you probably haven't watched mine with those thumbnails because sometimes I just post it because I really need to post it and then I'm like, oh shoot, I don't have a thumbnail. It's fine. It's not fine. I I don't, I should not do that and I'm tr I haven't for a little while now, I don't think. Um, so yeah, thumbnails are super important and I know you probably find yourself too just like going through videos and seeing one with a really pretty thumbnail and clicking on that one because you probably know that they put more work into that one than they did for maybe one without a good thumbnail. And it looks a lot nicer too on your channel when you're looking at videos, all these pretty thumbnails. So I really recommend doing that. A website you can use for that is pickmonkey.com. Super easy to use, accessible and free. Um, I use it too, so yeah. The next one I have is equipment. So equipment is super important for your videos. This is probably the most important one for me that I find. So here it is. Equipment, yes, you need to have some good equipment. I mean, you don't need to if you're not serious yet, but when you're really getting into it, definitely invest. It's a super great thing to have, and yeah. Um, I just like to mention too, for a lot of school projects, I've, I've since I know how to edit and I know how to film and all those little video tricks, I've been able to do a lot of video projects for school easily, so that's a great plus too. So if you're just getting started, you can use your laptop, your phone, whatever you want, family digital camera, um, but when you're really getting into it, I definitely recommend the Canon Rebel T series, because I have the Canon Rebel T3i as a camera, and it's a DSLR, which is like a digital something something something. <laughs> um, yeah, and it shows how much I know about cameras, um, but mine, I would show it to you, I mean, I don't know how I could, I mean, well... Like, can you see? There. So, can you see that? Yeah. There's my camera. As you can see, there's like a strap. Um, and then it's on a tripod right now. <laughs> this is weird. I Why am I showing you like that? Yeah, so there's a strap on the camera so you can hold it around your neck when you're just traveling or whatever. There's a camera. Like, you can take pictures. You can film. There's a viewfinder, which is a little flip-out thing that you can see yourself in. So, if you're in focus, if you're in the right spot, if you're cut out of the frame completely then you can really tell. Um, and I really like this camera. The lens I have is the Canon Zoom Lens EFS 18 
55 millimeter. Um, it's the one that I think came with the camera. I don't know if it came with it. I don't really know. But there are so many lenses you can get that are very, very expensive. So I think for now, like the normal lens is fine for me. Um, but definitely you can get more blurred backgrounds with certain lenses, vibrance. Um, I know there's like a Sigma lens. Also a tip for your lenses, if you get one with a high aperture, then you can get a really nice blurry background. I try and do that, but I mean my camera doesn't have as heightened of an aperture. Um, but having a busy background will help to make it a lot um, blurrier. But I mean I just put like pillows here. I don't currently I just think it's fine uh, because it's it's fine, it's nice and I'm I'm kind of right in the middle so yeah, so definitely a good lens is important too because that will just make your camera 5 million times better. It's pretty much the lens that does all the work, so yeah. Um, next thing is a tripod. I have the Black's Expert Selects BTP3 tripod. It, um, it can go up and down like this by just cranking. <laughs> Crunk! Pull the lever! <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Okay. By like cranking this little lever tool thing um, you can like go up and down and then there's um, like you can pan and then you can also go up and down it can go maybe to like f almost six feet high um, because there's like two extensions so yeah it's a really really good um, tripod and they're very easy to use um, and makes your video filming way easier Something else you could use is studio lights, which I do not have because I don't really find the use for them because, I mean, I always film when there's daylight and I have lights and lamps and stuff like that, so I don't think it's something that I need. But if you feel like you need it, then definitely go for that because you don't want your videos to have bad lighting. The last thing that is with the, um, kind of equipment is editing. This is the most important part to me because editing changes everything times a billion. Um, so I edit on my computer which is the MacBook Air um, 13 inch. So it's like the standard size one, not like the smaller one. And the smaller one is adorable. I love it. But I find this one is way more helpful and useful when you're editing and just for everyday use. Uh, the editing software that I use for most of my videos is iMovie. But I've just today recently switched to Final Cut Pro X. It's a very heavy duty software that costs about $350. There is actually, which is so expensive, I don't agree with that, but I mean... It's a good editor. Um, you can also get a free trial. There's like things where you can go on YouTube and be like, and just search for like Final Cut Pro for free or something like that. I'm not sure if it works, but I mean you can test it out and there's 30 day free trial. So you can just film a million videos in like one month and edit them all with your Final Cut Pro and then you'll just have some good videos to put out. So 30 day free trial is a good thing. Um, I got that, and I got the Final Cut Pro. It's really complicated and confusing, and I'm please bear with me if I take a while to post a video, because editing on that will probably take me almost a whole, like, day. It's going to take a while. Um, so, and I mean, I want to do intros and outros, too, and all those cool effects, so it's going to take me a little while, but I hope that you guys will like it and stuff so I'm really excited to use it and um, you should definitely use one if you don't have an Apple computer there's Windows Live Movie Maker, Maker which I used which is very good as well and then there's Sony Vegas which I heard of and there's probably a billion more but I mean make sure you kind of check out what they're offering before you buy it or download it so yeah a few tips I have when you're posting videos um, when you're editing them just make sure that you're cutting out all the little weird noises or your mess ups or your um, silent part. Let's say I make a joke, right? Or I make something, I say something funny and then I'm laughing at myself and then I just sit there. I'm like, huh. Then it's just really just, <laughs> it's awkward and it doesn't look good in a video. So cut those out. Another thing is when you're first starting out, 
post really popular videos. Like when I started, I posted a morning routine that has like 13,000 views now. Um, or not 13, I don't even know, a certain amount of views and that really got me noticed from the start so uh, popular videos like what's on my iPhone, morning routine, night routine, sorry I'm slouching, you can't even like see me um, <laughs> and popular videos will get you noticed quickly because that those are the videos that everyone looks for I really hope you guys found these tips helpful. Um, I kind of did this video just to help you guys out and because I was so confused when I started YouTube, I didn't really know what to do, so I was just being doing random stuff. And so, if you're deciding to start a channel, definitely, um, hopefully this helped you. I'm doing this because a lot of people actually ask me, um, often, like, about what they should do if they're starting a channel, what are some tips, and I just feel like instead of me repeating it over and over, you can just go back to this video every time you need some help. If you want to let me know any video requests, just leave them in the comments and follow me on my social media accounts. I will see you all in the next video, and thank you for watching. Ta-ta!